Hey guys, hope you're all having a wonderful day. Welcome back to another episode of the Forest Shuffle Ranked Climb. Currently, we're sitting at 532. Unfortunately, lost the last game and it was against someone that was reasonably low ranked, so I suffered quite heavily from that loss. And we're into game. Started off, like always, by drawing some cards. And there we go, a nice early beech tree to start off the, the set. Slap that down, and I can go, I think probably a birch tree, or I could draw this forest chestnut, but I don't think I need to, and maybe I try and snag some rabbits here. Good rabbits. I like rabbits. What else could I do? I don't know. Rabbits. Man, I, a good starter. So I think I'll I'll definitely play the red deer this turn. Because it just doesn't really make sense to not. Nothing too spicy popping out. Oh, and they play a wolf for free. That is a scandalous move. I can't agree with that. Just feels like such a waste. Yeah, so looking for any hares. Hopefully a silver fur so I can, you know, score more points from my rabbits than usual. I notably do have a lot of junk in my hand that I wouldn't be opposed to getting rid of with a raccoon. I don't really want to play any of these trees, but I think I'm going to have to. Down goes the tree. I mean, it just makes more sense to play the horse chestnut over the linden because... I mean, it's the same amount of points for one, and, you know, it it kind of grows the same. You know, two lindens would maybe be nine. Maybe not, but maybe be nine. What to do here? Do I just pick up both these red cards, these maples, just to play the wolf? Now, I don't have an orange, and I'm now thinking, kind of wish I did grab an orange card, just so I can get the badger into a hare. I guess I'll just, I'll take the L this turn, so my next turn can be a lot better. I can definitely see just going... Like going ahead with playing something. But I don't think it's too... Yeah, every time you take a turn where you you don't do the best or you, you do something slow, it's eh, little by little you fall further and further behind. So we're going to play the wolf for its bonus. Everything gets shuffled away, and there's the tree I wanted. So that's lovely. And there's another fox. Now, I don't actually know how worth a fox is to play with the, the, the hair-fox combo. Just because... I just don't know, honestly, but... So, it scores 2 per, but the main upside is drawing the card. How many... I don't know. I can't really calculate it at the moment. How many rabbits do you need to make playing a rabbit better than playing a hare? 
And if you're already at that point, is it better to just play the fox to draw like eight cards? Because playing, oh, I don't think I have my head in it for most of this today. Bombarding myself with, maybe not hard, but at least up there, math questions is not really on my agenda for today. So we'll just go with the, what I was thinking about doing before, where I play the badger and then just get a hair out as well. Unfortunately, that now reveals what I'm kind of looking to get. Just draw some cards. The Beach Martin. I really want to be filling out trees, though, you know. Well, now I... I guess I am now. That certainly has incentivized the filling out the trees. So I'll start us off with the, what's the first beach mine. Or maybe I'll play this beech tree first, actually. I don't want to discard that. I want to discard. Hedgehog, I guess. I don't think I really care about either of the sides of that. And now I kind of just want to grab that. I think it's worth. Although I guess they're not really gonna like take it from me. Maybe I maybe I hold off for a turn. Well, there's no way they can take it. They already have 10 cards, but... You know, shuffle it away. So I'm already at three... Possibly four hairs. And at that point, you have the breakthrough of... Being worth it. Like, you, you net even. Because maybe I shouldn't have... Although... That's ah, fine. It'll be fine. Clueless. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Get another beech tree down. Hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So I think I'm going to start playing the rabbits out. Hold that one down. I'm seeing a bit of a problem with these beach mounds. I don't know how many trees I'm actually going to be able to complete. I have this other hair to play. And then I can play this white red fox. So whatever they play, I might want to pick up. But that's fine. I got space in the old hand. Oh, and they're molen. One. Two. Three. 
I only played three cards, not the worst. I can take it. Oh, sorry, it doesn't even cost a card. Down goes another hair. Fortunately, I don't want to... Ooh, that's good. Happy I drew there. And I got the Eurasian J, so I can... Maybe do something. Again, happy I drew. Don't want them getting more of that butterfly nonsense. Hmm. I get to play this now and, you know, just hope they don't have the exact card I could take an extra turn, because that'd be incredibly bad. But, you know, I can't, I can't really play to, you know, try and stop that, well, more so than what I just did by playing it then. Yep, and they uh they don't get to yoink that stuff. Down goes another hair. I guess I guess just playing the fox is probably the better move here. Because, you know, draw four. Very nice. Another Beach Martin, but I'm not even scoring the ones I already have. Five of these. Play another hair. I might try and fill out some of these trees. Ah, but it just feels so bad. I guess it is ten points. Drawing like a butterfly now would be quite, quite nice. Yeah, just filling out these trees is probably worth it. Worth more than just whatever I'd gain from playing normally, like normal cards. And I actually, actually can't play the red fox, so it doesn't really matter. There's that uh, last beech tree. Oh my goodness. Holy. Well, now I'm definitely filling out my trees. I only have five hairs. So if I played another one, it would be six plus six, 12 versus 10. So I probably just playing the red fox is worth more. Get my beech tree down, so now I have the set of four. Now they're not really scoring as much as I thought they would. Down goes another beech martin. And my next turn is going to be just as crazy. Another beech martin. But after that, I definitely need to start getting on these trees. I guess playing this as the common toad, just like for the match, isn't worth it. Because I score five points in that turn versus I score like 20 or set up to draw 20. That's another good one.
It's a bit unfortunate. This turkey's a... Oh, first winner card. This turkey is a card that goes on the side. Definitely don't need to play cards that go on the side. Yeah, I think I think the Eurasian J is definitely getting played. I think I really need to start getting some some bushes and shrubs down. Oh, second winter card. Well, now I will not be drawing for a while. I just, I'm very surprised I haven't drawn a butterfly. Butterfly would, would really hit the spot. Down goes the common, the common toad. For 20 points. They've got to play, oh, they could have a mole. This could be bad. I don't know why, but I... I have a suspicion they have a mole. Oh, they have a wolf. Down goes the goshawk. Next turn, I'm going to play the tree fern with the, the turkey. Haven't seen many deers this game. I assume they have a lot of them. Five. They do have a lot of them. Glad I have two wolves. I only have one wolf. Wait a minute. Never mind. What's it going to be? What's the play? Play is to do that. Well, down goes the, what? 32 points, I think. Way more than that. What the? Shouldn't have been. I don't know. Maybe it was, and I just miscounted. Who can say? One off the top. Uh, I will definitely be taking the hair, and I think they know that. I really just need a butterfly. So painful. I guess the fallow deer is quite worth it to play. It's just over 20 cards. I mean points, not cards. Oh, actually, wait, I can... Play the fur. And then... Draw one off the top. Not what I want. Is it what I want? It kind of is. Hang on a minute. So I get to play a mountain and an insect. Well, 50% yeah, of that's still decent. And it's, you know, and it's not a, not a bad combo of cards to be getting down. I should put them underneath the... So, actually, I can't do that. What am I thinking? I have a tree? Okay, I have a tree. Oh, but I can't do that either. Uh-oh! We have run into the problem. I have to draw, and then if they if the, the game ends, the game ends. No, I can't just give them the fallow deer, because I don't think the game should end. Yeah, the game doesn't end. So then, play the Alpine Newt, and play the Common Raven, and we should be sitting pretty good, and then I'm insectless, so I've got to pass on that. Yep. 
The only question is... Oh, need some cards. Tired of sitting with no cards. And goes another rabbit. And then I'll play the fallow deer. Fallow deer going down for... I guess the strawberries are free, so it's better to keep. Not that I think I, I want to play them. Grab the rabbit, because it scores like 20 points. Again, I still don't have... I don't have a butterfly to play with this thing. One... How many mammals do I have? One... One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen, sixteen. Holy! These golden eagles might be a little bit good for me. Do I have a dark purple? Not really. It's fine. Golden eagles are still going down. They score me fifteen points. Somehow I have. 15, 15 tasty mammals. Well, I guess it gets the points because it eats them. I think, I don't know. I think the golden eagle is either European or from America. I can't quite remember where it's from. It's quite the majestic bird though. Versus what we have here in Australia, which is the wedge tail eagle, which, you know, don't get me wrong, beautiful creature. They do have a habit of gorging themselves on roadkill. Uh, on, just on the streets. So, it's a little gross. How much is this scoring me? 19 po I miss, I don't know how I miss count. 19 points. That's, that's insane. It literally scores more points than the goddamn the goshawk, which is crazy. Uh, I think I can just throw up the Steinbock. It's a little suspicious, I know. And I don't actually know how many points they're scoring off it, but I know I can score at least 20 points off the strawberry. So I'm kind of okay with it. I might be an inter. But I'll play the strawberry nonetheless for my 20 points. And if I lose, I lose. I don't think I'm losing though. Again, still just crazy. Not a single butterfly. Where are they? I'm looking around. I'm looking for a butterfly. There's no butterflies here. There's a butterfly. A tad bit late. But there, nonetheless. And that's like an assortment of points. 5, 11, 12, 13. Any more, any more points out of it? I don't think so. Oh, there's the end of the game. Damn, this was a good one. Very nice. It's a nice little mammal build. Plus 17? Yeah. Oh, well chuffed with that one. Got time for another one. And by time, I mean I only upload two games, so... And we are into our next game. Already got some interesting little plays in my hand. Already play an oak for free. I will, and then I'm picking up two. Maybe I'll try and finagle the oak. 
Yeah, I'm willing. I'm willing to try. I just picked up the uh, the badger so I could do this. And I will yoink those two. Eight cards. I mean, I can just play another, take an extra turn. Grab these cards. The wolf and the wild boar. Could this be the mythical wild boar game? Could be. Don't know yet. But I will just keep playing trees, I think. And you know what? I'm gonna take this oak. Because I have high hopes for it. And I'm gonna play the birch tree. I'm currently at four different trees. Yeah, I, I think I just get rid of the butterflies. Not really feeling butterflies at the moment. And keep drawing. Hmm. So many choices, so many options. So giddy. Another tree down. There we go. That's the start of what we're wanting. Grab both, which is annoying. One, two, three, four, five. Five different types of trees. Damn. Get the fallow deer down. Just gonna pick both of these up again. Down goes the raccoon. Hmm. I am struggling over here. Hmm. How many oaks are there? There's seven. I think it's funny. I want to go for a tree build. But I definitely can't leave Beach Martins just sitting around, so those are going straight back to the end. There's another type of tree. And then I think that'll be all the types of tree I need. Maybe. I want to play more than one linden. What a despicable tree. Playing rabbits. One down. Grab the oak off the top. Take the wolf, take the beach mountain. Have they played a fallow deer yet? No. Just 
Steinbock is mediocre. What should they? I don't even know what I'm looking for down there. Let's start, I guess, or not. I kind of don't want to get rid of any of these. Oh, that's good. Get rid of everything. Are these score me points yet? They are. I really want a fallow deer, though. Ooh, that was a mistake. What have I done? Holy. Oh, that's a red deer. That was terrible. I should be arrested for that. What a mistake. I think I'm I think I might be getting a little a little hazy, a little confused by what I'm doing. Holy do I just play more trees? I think it's in. I don't think I should. I need a squeaker. One squeaker please. I mean, just grabbing the birch is like a free card. Oh, so I have to get rid of one of my free cards. Dark blues. Dark blues and oranges. Well, I've got enough cards to draw once more. Oh my god, more wolves. The first wolf is down. The squeaker. That's why I feel like I have so little points. Another wolf going down. Two. Second winter card. Come on, I can pull this back. That's bad. It's like the card I want. Oof, and then get rid of these three cards. So now they can't have them. Oh, that's the end of the game. Whoopsie. <laughs> oh, deserved, deserved loss. You know, I play ranked and I try to have a little fun with it. I did earn 60, uh, 61, I don't know how much was this, 13, so 64. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't actually that many points, but I swear, did I lose because I didn't have a squeaker? Like, I didn't lose because I didn't have a squeaker, but I didn't see one, and I have three boars. That's crazy. <laughs> Just a little fun one there, you know? You gotta have a little fun every now and again.
But uh, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you'll check out some of my other stuff if you enjoyed it. As always, make sure to have a great day. See you guys.